Hello, good morning. In this session, you will learn as how to do editing of your research articles first draft by using editing tools of Microsoft Word and Grammarly. Coming to the first Microsoft Word, these editing tools can do five different things. For example, first thing will be auto capitalization of the first alphabet of first word in a sentence. For example, the second sentence over here starts with newer and n is small. If you have typed this small n and move on to further, it auto capitalizes the alphabet n. Likewise, wherever this type of mistakes happen, these are auto corrected by the editing tools of Microsoft. Second thing is auto correction. For example, if I'm typing the word observed and by mistake I type in double R and move on to next, it auto corrects and removes the one additional alphabet R. Third thing, we can use the feature of finding the synonyms. For example, the word reduce is here and this has come several times in the text. So to break the monotony, we can select the word reduce, find the synonyms and see which is the most appropriate like decrease, lessen, diminish, cut, trim down, condense, shrink, ease, etc. So we can select the most appropriate from this list of suggestions and I think decrease is the right word so we choose the word decrease. Uh, as you know when we are numbering some points and here are the options for bullets for numbers are different styles of numbers which you can follow. Also, there is a provision for the spell check. For example, this word here is underlined in red. That means the spelling is wrong. So if we right click the cursor over here, this gives two options, whether this is word these or the use. So we know okay, I wanted to type the use of, so we select this one. And again, it is showing a green uh, underline that means there is some problem with the editing. So here is the limitation. Since it is a continuation of sentence, it's suggesting that the word the should have small t. However, I know that I wanted to type next sentence from here. So I didn't take any suggestion from the editing tips and put a full stop over here. Okay, and now this the word doesn't have any underline. That means spelling wise and placement wise, this is the right thing. See, there is one another limitation also with the Microsoft Word editing tools. If I come to the bio films, it gives suggestions which are completely different words. Actually, this word is bio films that is not present in the dictionary of Microsoft Word so it doesn't give any suggestions now so it's our scientific technical term and we have to follow that add it, this to the dictionary and then it takes everything as a correct spelling but at the same time we need to know that the words like author's names should not be added to the dictionary. Okay, now coming to the use of Grammarly, I select the whole text over here, copy it, close this Word document, and then open the Grammarly. In the Grammarly, there's a provision to import the document or paste the paragraph. So before doing the editing, Grammarly is asking you to set the goals. Since this is a research article and is to be read by the audience or the viewers or the reviewers who are expert in that field, so we select option expert. Uh, other things are okay. Formality neutral, domain is general. Select the done. Grammarly found several corrections and the first thing is is saying burns and probably there are two spaces between burns and word and therefore it's suggesting to remove the additional space when you select this suggestion it automatically does it so the next suggestion is about the cause let's see what it suggests it suggests that instead of cause it should be causes so if you review this sentence complications with burns and wounds are a top 10 of causes so it is actually plural and the word should be causes so we select this one next comes the premature mortality and again there is a problem with the space and is saying remove and we accept this thing next is correct the subject for the word has and it should be have oxygen permeable that's the suggestion if we join these two words with the help of a hyphen it makes a smooth reading what is the problem here it says it should have a 
comma was it says it should be were because models is a plural so we accept that now coming to the next highlighted suggestion is breakdown and it says that breakdown is not a single word it is a two words and should be separated by a space so okay next is availability and it says the article the should be added before the word availability see here this grammarly has found that it's not site it should be sites again the breakdown issue we can sort out then air here is the confusion whether we should use the article d or not if we see the sentence carefully here it means a specific volume and quantity of a particular air at that place and it is specific so we accept the suggestion to add the article d okay uh, next is a uh, reproductive it again says add the article d fine next suggestion is lucy phrase expressing that means both these words should be joined together by the help of a hyphen fine if we read this sentence e coli were shown to substantially increase the duration bioluminescence automatically the idea comes that it should have word of preposition of should be added and we accept that so by this way we have considered all the options by the grammarly which were not given by the microsoft word editing tools so i think you can use both microsoft uh, word editing tools and grammarly editing tools to improve and polish your research article thank you very much for watching and if you like such videos do subscribe and help us in spreading the good word